गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू सो वेलकम टू द यूट्यूब चैनल ऑफ योर पीडियन इंजीनियर करियर पॉइंट्स आई एम विनीत शर्मा योर मेंटर ऑफ मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग सो एज यू नो द ऑयल इंडिया हैज अनाउंस दी वैकेंसीज ऑफ द सीनियर ऑफिसर्स एफ आई एंड सेफ्टी मैनेजमेंट हेयर ओके एंड ऑल दी रिमेनिंग पोस्ट आर देयर ओके एंड स्पेसिफिकली आई एम हेयर टू प्रोवाइड यू द इनफॉर्मेशन रिलेटेड टू द मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग पोस्ट अलॉन्ग विद दट आई एम गोइंग टू डू दी प्रीवियस ईयर पेपर एनालिसिस ऑफ दिस सीनियर ऑफिसर विच हैज बीन taken in the recent years here okay so uh, if we talk about the number of vacancies which has been out there are so there are total 35 vacancies okay which has been out for the senior officer post in the oil india and the age limit of this exam is 29 years okay along with that if we talk about the paper pattern so there are total 100 questions are going to be there in which the 60 questions ka is comprising of the technical part and the remaining 40 questions are comprising of the non technical portion here okay and uh, if i talk about the level of the paper the level of the paper is very very simple you uh, you are not going to expect the numerical in this particular exam here only the simple theoretical theoretical questions are being asked okay and if you talk about the number of subjects which has been covered in this particular exam here so the subjects are very very uh, the subjects are many subjects are be, have been covered here including the production thermodynamics uh the basics part as well as the applied thermodynamics then we have a fluid mechanics along with fluid machinery part also theory of machine along with vibration part also and in this case also we have to do the industrial engineering okay now so all of these subject have been covered in the 60 questions here along with that there is no question related to the technical uh, mathematics here okay so you have to you don't have to prepare the mathematics for this particular requirement okay now coming back to the subject weightage how many questions are being asked so if you just see in the case of production production is uh, the production from the production in the recent year the number of questions are very very large here okay so you can expect around 15 questions from the 60 in from the production part only or i can say 12 to 15 questions so i can directly say that 50 to, uh, the 15 to 20% of the paper has been come from the only the production part here okay and in this case the production has been covered uh which is comprising of machining part machine tool part okay in which we cover up the lathe machines uh, i can say milling machines brushing machine like this one along with that we have to prepare the metrological uh metrological principles here okay there we where in which we cover the limit fit and tolerance is etc coming back to the next subject here the next subject is the theory of machine along with the vibration part so if you just see the theory of machine is very very important subject for this particular exam here so you have to prepare in depth uh this particular subject here because on an average 10 questions has been asked from this particular subject here okay and in in this case the number of uh, the questions level are very very simple only the theoretical questions are there okay the type of mechanism they have asked here the i can say the calculation of the natural frequency of the system they have asked okay related to the cam they have asked the basic questions from the cam terminology this type of top topic has been covered in the theory of machine along with the vibration part here okay now now coming back to the next part here fluid mechanics so in this case you can see the five almost on an average five questions has been asked from the fluid mechanics part and i am not considering the hydraulic machine in it okay hydraulic machine is separate here so on an average if you just see four to five questions has been asked from the hydraulic machines also so i can say uh, in the in the total out of the total question here 10 questions has been asked from the fluid mechanics along with the hydraulic machines here okay na so you have to give the equal weightage to the hydraulic machines because sometimes the student uh, prepare the fluid mechanics very well but they skip the hydraulic machines part so don't do that for this particular requirement now coming back to the engineering materials engineering materials is also seeing a weightage of five questions here okay on an average five questions and coming back to the strength of material all the the weightage of the strength of material and the uh, engineering engineering sorry i can say engineering materials are same here okay in the engineering materials you have to cover up the material science portion okay and in the case of strength of material if you just see the number of questions are almost 5 to 6 here okay in the machine design if you just see there are number 3 to 4 questions are there so i can say the total 8 questions can be asked from this particular these two subjects here strength of material and the material uh, machine design here okay one more thing uh the subject engineering mechanics is very very important for you for this exam here why because again the five questions has been directly asked from this particular subject and the engineering mechanics questions are very nice okay uh it is not so much tough here the basic basic questions related to the inertia uh so what is the formula of the inertia for the semi circle oh, sorry semi sphere okay hemi sphere this type of questions has been asked from this particular topic along with that they have asked you the question related to the uh, i can say the principle of transmissibility okay the lambert principle this is a uh, type of questions has been covered from the engineering mechanics portion okay now coming back to the uh, thermodynamics and the 
thermodynamics including the basic and the applied thermodynamics so if you just see in the basic thermodynamics the number of questions are around 6 to 7 if i just say on an average because sometime it is 4 sometime it is 9 and sometime it is 5 and the last year it is only one question is there okay so don't skip the thermodynamics because if you are able to cover the basic thermodynamics then you can solve the question related to the ic engine power plant as well as the refrigeration and IC, uh, refrigeration and ac here okay now and so if you just see don't uh, waste your time in in covering the basic thermodynamics as well as the applied thermodynamics here okay just try to give this short amount of time for this particular four subjects because it is comprising only the seven to eight questions here okay now so instead of covering this subject just give more focus on the engineering mechanics strength of material machine design fluid mechanics and hydraulic machines now coming back to the industrial engineering that is production planning and control on an average again three to four questions has been asked from this particular topic and again the questions are very simple they are related to the inventory management then the questions are related to the uh, related from the scheduling part routing part dispatching part etc okay the basic th uh, theoretical questions has been asked okay so this is the analysis which i want to share with you so whenever you are just choosing the subject or if whenever you are uh, prioritizing the subject for the preparation here just just make and show that start with the production part then with the theory of machine along with the vibration part and then the fluid mechanics and the hydraulic machine part and then go into the engineering, me engineering mechanics machine design and the strength of material so this should be the sequence in which you have to do the preparation of this particular recruitment okay and we have also launched the module here so i am going to start the classes from tomorrow only and i am planning to start with i am going to plan with the theory of machine first so first we are going to see the theory of machine along with that the manisha has also started the classes from uh, it, he is also going to start the class from tomorrow i think he is going to start the production part here okay so if you want to join us you can join us uh, as soon as possible here so this is the analysis which i want to share with you okay now so I hope it is very much clear to you how to prioritize the subject and how to start the preparation. So thank you very much.